Hey, it is Kenny from Kenny's Audi File Rec Reviews. Thank you very much for viewing my channel. Please like and subscribe. I sincerely appreciate that. I appreciate the viewership and all the the kind words. And uh, I just appreciate the kindness that uh, my audience has, has shown me. I, I sincerely appreciate that. In this video, I'm going to briefly explain why, at least a golden era for me in terms of buying records. Um, I'm, I'm talking about mainly used records. Uh, on the secondary market, the golden era, and why it will never happen again. I think that era is uh, is not gone, but it's getting very close to it, in my opinion. I'm going to explain why. I did a, uh, um, a video in terms of how I uh, accumul accumulated my records over the years. You know, I, I was buying new records, you know, uh, is, you know, in the 70s, 80s, 90s, up to up till now. I was buying a lot more uh, new records in the, probably in the 80s when I had a little bit more money. You know, I you know, graduated from college in the 80s and I was still buying uh, new records then in the 70s. And, you know, when I was junior high school and high school and then uh, the early 80s, I started going to thrift stores, estate sales and yard sales and places like that, mainly um, thrift stores and at thrift stores. Um, Especially during the era when people were getting rid of records to buy CDs, that was to me the golden era of buying used records at thrift stores mainly, and some of the you know yard sales and estate sales. Because since people were buying CDs, they had no use for the records. They were into the new CD technology, and they thought uh, you know. Records were like uh, old technology, so they started buying CD, CDs and CD players and listen to CDs. They, people love the convenience and the uh, what they thought was the um, the better sound of a CD. So they were getting rid of records. And during that time, especially in the mid-80s, starting around that time, a lot of people were, like say, getting rid of records, donating them to thrift stores. And I was going to thrift stores a lot then. And so during that time and era, you can buy records for like, you know, four for a dollar, a dollar piece, usually no more than two dollars a piece. But typically they were about a dollar and, um, and and they were getting rid of quality records, too, like Miles Davis, uh, the Beatles, the Doors, uh, the Who, Ella Fitzgerald, Sarah Vaughn, um, you know, Dizzy Gillespie, all, all these uh, greats from jazz, pop, rock, you know. And they were just giving them away to these thrift stores. And I used to go to these thrift stores and just by accident, I would just run into, you know, 20, 25 records at a time, some four for a dollar, uh, some a dollar a piece. And that's why I was able to build the record collection I have mainly is because of going to thrift stores. And I think that the golden era for me was probably right the mid 80s through approximately somewhere between 2005 and 2010. That was a golden era probably maybe more so uh, around 2005. I say 1985 to approximately 2005. That was a golden era for finding used records, fabulous used records in great condition at uh, uh, thrift stores. Now, it's very difficult to do that now. It really is. I think after maybe, maybe approximately 2015 on till today, it's beginning more and more, increasingly more difficult to find records at, uh, use records at thrift stores. I know 2023 was a good year for me. I, I think I bought a little over 100 really great jazz records, some pop records at local thrift stores. But 2023 was an exception to the rule. It was a anomaly. It, uh, 2023 did not happen too many times previous to that from you know, I'd say 2000, 2010, 2015 to 2023. 2023 was an exception to rule for me in terms of buying used records at thrift stores. Mainly when I go to thrift stores now, I do find some records every now and then. But a lot of them are, um, you know, um, easy listening music that's not in good condition that people who love easy listening music wouldn't even buy. You know, don't get me wrong. I love easy listening music, but that's what's you know left over. That's what's being donated. That's that's what does not sell it at thrift stores and stays there for a long time. Um, but that golden era between 
I'd say not the mid 80s to approximately 2005, maybe a little bit after that, was a prime time, the prime era for me to build my record collection going to thrift stores. And like I said, it's very difficult to do that now. And it's unfortunate. Here's the reason why. I see some young uh, people at uh, thrift stores looking at records and it's unfortunate because it's, it's slim pickings for the most part. And it is an inexpensive way for, for the young crowd to get into vinyl collecting. It really is. Versus buying records online where, you know, where you're paying $20 a piece, which is a good price. But, you know, some of these records cost $30 a piece, $40, $60, $100 plus. So it, is a, it, it serves as a great alternative for people trying to build a record collection and get into vinyl record collecting. It's a great alternative to do it at an inexpensive price. My local thrift store sells their records for two dollars a piece and compared to um you know buying them new it is a fabulous alternative it really is don't get me wrong i still buy new records i really do but um i just love the um going to the thrift stores and it was like a um it's like going on an adventure a treasure because sometimes you go there and you don't know, know what you're going to find. That's the way it was in the mid-80s through 2005. It was like, uh, like I said, it was like a treasure hunt. It was like you never knew what you're going to find. You never knew what uh, that that day's adventure you were going to come home with. And it was a great time for me to build some uh, to build my record collection because of the, um, the unexpectedness, if that's a word, of the find. It was, somebody uh, said in my, uh, one of my uh, previous videos, it was the, the thrill of the hunt. The thrill of the hunt. You don't know what's out there when you uh, leave your home. You don't know what you're going to come home with. But usually I came home with something. And it's like, it's, it's getting dry and it's getting, it's, it's slim pickings now. And it's getting few and far between. So that was a golden era for me in terms of collecting uh, used records on a secondary market via thrift stores around the mid 80s to approximately 2005. It's a fabulous time to accumulate huge records, great records in great condition and great artists too. You know, it wasn't some of that junk that you see at thrift stores these days. Um, but that was a great time for me. That was a golden era for me, mid 80s to approximately 2005, while I was just finding fabulous music left and right. But what was your golden era in terms of finding used records? Or do you even buy used records? Or did you ever buy used records at thrift stores on the second year market? That was my golden era. What was yours? But like I said, I still f uh, find um, great, buy still great um, you, uh, new records. I really do. Some are kind of pricey, but uh, I still do. But I wish they were more available at uh, thrift stores, the second year market. Not only for me, but for the younger audience who were looking for records. And also people who um, who may not have the resources to buy some of the new, these new records on online. It is a, a fabulous alternative for them as well. And me too. But please leave your comments in the comments section below. Thank you very much for viewing my video. God bless, strong love, and keep the peace worldwide.